Hey Art Snackers, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In case you're new here, my name is Roxanne, also known as By Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist and illustrator. This month's box was really chock full of some art supply love. See what I did there? Oh yeah. Not to mention an awesome pen, pencil, and so much more. So grab a snack and let's get to it because this is the Art Snacks Box Breakdown. Welcome back to another Box Breakdown, the monthly video series where we take a closer look at some of the supplies and techniques found in the latest Art Snacks box. Now you might have noticed I have a different background going on here, and that's because my art studio is currently under construction. So where else do I go to film? My parents' house. Thanks, mom and dad. But hey, this is still the breakdown, and we've got a lot to review. So this month's box had a new to Art Snacks and exclusive first look item, which was quite the fun surprise. Leave it to Art Snacks to always be shaking things up and bringing us the widest range of materials out there. While I'll be going over this item in detail in just a bit, I actually want to start this breakdown with our bonus item. In your box, you're getting a sample of the Stonehenge Craft Paper by Legion Paper. You'll find that this 100% cotton and earth-toned paper is going to be perfect for the remaining items in this month's box. I also managed to get my paws on a full-size pad, which you can pick up from the Art Snack Shop. With my paper ready and after snooping the other supplies in the box, I decided to do a sketchy portrait of sorts for this month's Art Snacks Challenge. To begin, I'm reaching for our next item, the Zebra Delgard Mechanical Pencil. You're getting this pencil and a bunch of extra lead to get sketching. A cool feature on this mechanical pencil is its double spring mechanism, meaning less lead breakage for you. Something else you'll notice is how lightweight it is, making it easy to hold and easy to use for a preliminary sketch like this. While I'm sketching, you might see me using our next item, the Faber-Castell Kneaded Eraser. I'm a big fan of kneaded erasers and always, always, always have to have one in my pencil pouch. For me, they're essential to have as an artist. This eraser doesn't leave residue behind and will last you quite some time. You can form it into whatever shape you need to erase and simply stretch it to clean. Another big way I use kneaded erasers is to lighten all of my sketch lines by blotting it before coming in with my next medium. With my sketch complete, I'm now ready to move on to that exclusive item I mentioned earlier, the Rembrandt Soft Pastels. We Snackers are getting a first look at these new sets. Your set of five features these velvety pastels that are super vibrant. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with pastels, the key thing to know is how to apply them and then how to blend them. To apply it, you can use the chalk on its side to cover big areas, use an upper chunk for a heavier sketchy look, or use an edge for a sharp line. With chalk pastels, it's all about layering and blending, so be playful here and experiment and see what method works best for you. You can blend with your finger, a Q-tip, or even a paper towel. Returning back to my sketch, I'll begin to build up color. Rembrandt has made it easy for us with these five pack of hues, which is a value scale ready to go. I'll put down colors and then blend them together. Once the face is filled in, I'll use the edge of the pastels to create some bold line work for the hair. I thought this might be a fun contrast to the softness happening in the face. Now that my artwork is packed with color, I'm reaching now for our last item in the box, the Faber-Castell White Pit Artist Pen. This pen features a 1.5 millimeter bullet nib and super opaque and permanent white India ink. And be sure to check out that extra card in your box, which features a super sweet 25% off coupon from Faber-Castell. So this pen is sturdy and pigmented, so it will really create some pop on our Stonehenge paper and makes for great highlights on top of the pastel. Here, I'm using it to add some accents and outlines all over the face. I'll then use it to create a bold outline around the entire portrait. Mm -hmm. 
after adding a few more details throughout with more pen, pencil, and pastels, there you have it, the February Art Snacks box. If you're new to Art Snacks and want to start getting your monthly box, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can sign up. Of course, while you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for future breakdowns, and follow Art Snacks on social media. This has been another Art Snacks box breakdown, and I'll see you next month. Bye!